There are no two people that are the same. It's impossible. Identical twins are not the same. More than that, no two life situations are the same. It's impossible to have two people with the same life situation. You can have two people who are tzaddikim, righteous. One is going to have an easier life. One is going to have a more difficult life. Why? Says the rabbi, because you have your own individual mission. Your own individual tikkun. That's only for you. It's handcrafted and tailored specifically to you, to nobody else. From the creation of the world, there was nobody like you in the world. You're unique. You're one. The only one who's like you and who will ever be like you. And therefore, says the rabbi, don't ever compare to somebody else. Don't compare your challenges. It's not right. I also give charity. Why? You need to... What does that mean? Why? You're your own individual. Says the rabbi, the difficulty you go through in your life is handcrafted for you. We look at the difficulties. Well, God, why are you doing this to me? Says the Nitivot Shalom, sometimes God needs you over here. And we're still over here. So what does he do? He brings challenge your way. The point of a challenge is not to crush you. The point of a challenge is not to break you. The point of a challenge is to get you from here to here. That's the point of a challenge. The point of difficulty. We say that difficulty is bad. It's not true. Comfort is the worst thing in your life. The worst of the worst of the worst. Growing up in a house in Jamaic Mashtek, where your floors are heated and it's always 72 degrees. Perfect. Kaif. Comfortable. You don't want to get anything done. You have no ambition. Nothing. Why? He says, difficulty builds strength. Difficulty elevates a person to a higher level. You can never compare your life to somebody else's life. Every person has one specific, unique mission. They give him all of these specific situations that he needs for his life. Nobody's going to get your situation. If God wants me to be a big tzedakah giver, He has to make me wealthy. He cannot make me poor and, and demand for me to give tzedakah. It's impossible. So whatever God needs from you for your mission, He's going to give you that situation. He's going to make you... It's not about the amount, it's about the percentage. That's true. There's no difference between a, a guy worth a billion dollars giving 10% and a poor person giving 10%. It's the same percentage. Words of wisdom this morning. Did you hear it? It's a boy. Even the difficult situations in your life. You want to know why God gives you that difficulty and not to the next person? It's not a coincidence. It's in order to elevate you to where you need to be. Cool. He says, we're always paranoid. What are we paranoid about? I'm going to get this and that's going to happen. And this is going to happen. He says, paranoia is stealing from you. Rent free. Stealing from you. You're paying interest on a loan you never borrowed. That's paranoia. That's fear. You have to know the difficulty in your life. Don't be afraid of it. It's there to build you, to make you strong. There's no evil that comes from heaven. And everything is good for a man, specifically for you. And you have to know something. You have two brothers. One is lazy, one is shustri. One is angry, one is happy. One is tough, one is not. One is this, one is that. There's different. But what do you mean they're brothers? Why are they different? What's the answer? Is that God already knows. If He needs me to be a certain way, He's going to imbue inside of me the nature. So I'll give you an example. Two people go on vacation. One guy's idea of vacation. Don't wake me up before 7.30. I'm going to get up 7.30, go to Mikveh, go to 8 o'clock Minyan, nice and late. Yes, I'm going to learn till 10, 10.30, 11 o'clock, and then we can go have breakfast. Chill vibes. You have another guy, 5.30, he's up. 6 o'clock, he's already saying to the family, Dabai, 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 we got to go, we got to go. Where you got to go? We got to go, the theme park is going to open. You came here to rest or to do? No, no, we got to see the world, we got to go see the world. <laughs> it's vacation. No, no, but you got it. What's the answer? That this is his nature. He wants to, he just has to be somewhere, right? Well, why, why did God give him such a nature? For his tikkun in this world. That nature you were given for your tikkun in your world. This, oh my God, I got to, I got to, I got to. You know what you got to do? You got to build schools. You got to build productivity in the community. You got to build good in the community. You got to build, bring good in the world. You got to, got to, got to. Use that power for godliness also. Not just for your 18 skyscrapers in Manhattan. You got to utilize that, that power of doing. For what? For good in the world. You have another guy. He doesn't have that power of doing. He doesn't have that same charisma. His mission might be a little different. His mission may be a little more personal with God. A little more private. That doesn't mean he's a less of a man. A person who has a personal, close relationship with God. He's not out in the scenes, in the arenas. All social media doesn't blast him. That doesn't mean he's less of a man. It means your mission, what I need from you, is something else. So, so we didn't answer the question. He says, you have to know that every person is built with certain character traits. One has ta'va, desire more than another. 
What is anger more than another? What is haughtiness? Gaba. Asher amidot araot. Ve'hakolu kedesh yuchal etaker et mashu tzarich. It's all in order for you to fix what you need. To fulfill your yehud in this world. Ve'lo rak hatechunot atovot meviot oto el yehudo. Not only the good character that you have brings you to your goal, but also the bad character that you have brings you to your goal. Why? Because you overpower the evil inside of you. That's bringing you also to the goal. So don't be upset. If you pray Amida and you get a bad thought. Says the Valatanya, it could be that at that moment when you get rid of that bad thought, you're smacking the Yetzirah to the ground. The next guy doesn't have the bad thought. You do. You can utilize that bad to elevate, use it as a jumping uh, platform to jump over. This is the answer to all the tests in your life that you go through in your life. That they bring from Shamaim and Higim et Adam and Nishanot Kashim. They bring sometimes difficulty onto a person. Chasm Shalom, he starts to complain against God. He says, how could you do this to me? I was, I was good. How come the college didn't accept me? Why they lost my application? I wanted to go and become a big uh, dentist. Why they lost my application? He's upset. It's not fair. My whole life I was with you, God. All the tests that you have, they're only for your good, for your benefit. They're elevating it to your purpose. Because when you overpower the the the, the nisyonot, you chale agi ali tikuno, like the Gemara says. How do you know a bal teshuvah is a bal teshuvah gamur? So when he gets the same opportunity to do sin and he doesn't sin, that's how you know he did teshuvah for real. That means if I stole from somebody ten years ago, God's gonna give me now ten years later the exact opportunity. Some bullish is gonna walk in. How you doing? I have a million dollars to spend. Can somebody help me? Oh, sure. Right, right this way. Right this way, sir. Let me uh, <laughs> let me guide you. Right this way, sir. Sure. I know somebody who can help you. It has alleviate your problem. So the idea is that God's gonna bring you that exact situation. Why? To test you to see how you're gonna behave in that situation. This is what it means. Lech lecha from your artzicha, from your birthplace. You know what it means, lech lecha? Go to yourself. Go to yourself. You know what it means, go to yourself? Start looking for your mission in this world. Do you. Start looking for your connection to God in this world. Lech lecha, go to you. Don't live like everyone else. Don't be like everyone else. Everybody's sheep, running, running, running. Lech lecha, go to you. What's my mission? What's my statement in this world? We're almost finished. The main mission of a Jew is to realize what's my mission in this world. Like it says in Torah Davot, that even a Jew who's in Olam Azeh, he learns and he prays and he does good deeds, but he doesn't do what he's supposed to do. When he goes up to Shamaim, they tell him he didn't do your mission. So it's not only about praying and learning, which is very important, is that we have challenges. And we have to work on these challenges. We have barbui and we have to work on these barbui. Abraham Avinu didn't become the great Abraham without what? Without challenge. So we have to embrace the challenge. We have to take it in. We have to be ready for it. And Bezat Hashem use it as a stepping stool for greatness. We didn't answer the question fully yet. But tomorrow, there's going to be part two. Hazaku Baruch.